Hi guys, Jen here with How Jen Does It. Today I'm going to be sharing our completed gallery wall. I love how it turned out. If you've been watching me for a little while, you know I've been working on a gallery wall going up our stairs and it's a larger wall so I was collecting a lot of different frames and things and I wanted it mostly to be a wall of family pictures so I had a lot of fun going through albums and selecting the pictures for that wall and getting the right sizes and everything. So I love it and I wanted to share it with you. I think a gallery wall is a great way to display all of your favorite family photos or whatever you like, artwork or what have you, and it adds a lot of personality to your home. We have another gallery wall in the dining room which I'll be showing you in this video. I have shared this one before and I recently posted a picture on Instagram and a lot of you guys liked the idea for this gallery wall. It's uh, black and white photos that I've taken on different trips that we've been on. So it's a wall of memories but it's also great because when people come over they often try to guess where each of the photos is taken. So I'll be sharing both of those with you. If you aren't subscribed to my channel I would love to have you subscribe and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumb. I wanted to start by showing you where our gallery wall is. So I'm standing in the entryway and I know a lot of you guys have seen this before, but I wanted to show you how high our ceilings are. They are 20 feet high so the gallery wall is really large. And it is hard to film some things, picture frames being one of them. They always look smaller on camera for some reason, but you'll see it from a few different angles. I love how it turned out. I wanted mostly family pictures, so that's what I chose. And you can see it here from the top. So I chose frames that coordinated well with our home. Here I am on the top step and you can see that the frame is at eye level. You want to keep the frames at eye level on each step if you're doing a gallery wall going up the stairs. I did mostly family pictures, but I also have some Bible verse printables. I added an L and a few other things that you'll see here. I love this, this is our happily ever after. I thought that was perfect for our gallery wall because I have adorable pictures from my kids when they were little babies all the way till now. Another tip is definitely use a level to make sure every frame is straight because one crooked frame is going to really affect the way your gallery wall looks overall. I had another issue uh, because my children are older, a lot of my old photos aren't digital, so I just had the four by six. And sometimes when you try to enlarge them, the quality isn't that great. So keep that in mind when you're selecting frames, you can definitely get some eight by tens, but you can get some four by six frames with a larger mat, um, just so that you can still use some of your older photos. Here is our other gallery wall in the dining room. So this one I did all black and white photos just because it's in our dining room and I wanted it to not be so many colors. So I think the white frames look really nice and make the black and white photos pop. And like I said, it's a great way to share our memories and also people like to guess where each of the photos will, were taken. Some of them are very obvious, but some might not be. If you'd like to guess where some of these pictures were taken, I would love for you to do so in the comments. But this is just really a fun way for me to display photos that I have taken on vacation. I love taking pictures near water, if you can't tell. And definitely leave room. So on this wall, because I hope we will take some more trips, I want to add to it. So there's definitely room on each side. And then with our family picture gallery wall, I can always change out the photos and I can add to it. And the best part is I use command strips to hang all of my frames. I know a lot of you guys use these, but just in case, this is what they look like. They hold up really well. I use the ones that hold up to 16 pounds. So you need two of them and they basically Velcro together. 
and they have adhesive on each side. One side goes on the frame and then one side sticks to the wall. I use two to four per frame depending on the size of the frame and they work really well. I just make sure to push them really hard against the wall. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have a wonderful day.